Hey guys, so earlier today, Clash of Clans released their balancing update uh, notes, and I will just go over that with you guys in today's video. Um, I know a lot of other YouTubers have already made some posts on this, or you may have seen it on their social media, but this video is more so for those who have not uh, seen it yet. So if you have seen it already, nothing new, so you can just click off now and forget about it. But if you haven't, continue to watch, and I will show you everything that is coming in the new update, as long with a speculation on when the um, when it will actually drop. So starting off, um, balancing update, Greetings Chief, as we continue to develop Clash of Clans, we will be releasing updates, features, balance changes, and new content for both the Builder Base and the Town Hall. While we are proud of our accomplishments with the Builder Base, rest assured we are not forgetting about the Town Hall. In fact, this update is primarily focused on your Town Hall, although there is, much, there is a much requested feature for that Builder Base listed at the end. Um, just stopping this for a sec. It is awesome what they are adding for the builder base. Um, a lot of people have requested it, and they finally they actually listen. So that is great. It's really great to know that they are listening to the community's feedback, and I hope they continue to do so. And then they continued with, so check out what we have in store for your town hall below. So a lot of it is focused on town hall eleven. Um, well, actually, most of it is, except there. I th believe there's something in there for other town halls as well. So anyways, new cannon level 15, cannon levels 10 to 14, upgrade time or cost has been discounted. There is a new archer tower level, level 15 as well, available at Town Hall 11. And then the time and cost for the lower levels are reduced as well. New inferno tower level 5, this is a big one. This will make it much more powerful. And then they also did a reduction in the time and cost for the lower levels. And then the multi-mode damage has also been increased, so it's receiving a bit of a buff there as well. And then the single mode, the first stage damage has also been changed to match the multi-mode damage. And then the new offensive content updates. Conversely, we have also added additional levels along with the balance updates to the following. Troops to ensure additional offensive power is available as well. New P.E.K.K.A. level 6, Town Hall 11. P.E.K.K.A. upgrade time or costs have been discounted across all levels, so a new P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. level 6, I can't wait to see what that looks like. I will actually be releasing some, um, not, not really leaked footage, but some actual gameplay from a dev build um, coming out really shortly actually. Um, so stay tuned for that so we can see what all of the new troops or defenses actually look like. And then also new wizard level 8, uh, same with all, pretty much all troops, all of the lower levels their price and time is pretty much reduced for all, so I'll stop mentioning that. The new healer level 5, that's going to be great. Can't wait to see how that's going to impact those bowler attacks, the witch slaps, and the queen walks, more, most importantly. This one we haven't seen in a long time. The minor level 5. So the minor level 3 is also now available at Town Hall 10, and then the hit points have also been increased. So we may be seeing more minor mass minor attacks yet again. We'll just have to wait and see for that. New wall breaker level 7, and that's pretty cool because... It'll be easier to help with those higher level walls, especially those new white walls and then the, the sort of maxed orange ones. Also, dragon level 4 to 6 hit points have been increased. So that'll be, maybe we'll be seeing some more dragon attacks for the higher town hall levels. Hog riders level 6 to 7 hit points have been increased as well. So that's to promote more hog attacks at higher levels. And then this is the big one. Builder base, you can now watch live. So we have heard your request and we agreed it was a feature much needed, similar to the live replay function in the town hall. If you complete your builder base attack before your opponent, you can now watch your opponent's attack and see how well your builder base defenses perform. That's all for now, Chief, but rest assured we are still working on new stuff for both your town hall and builder base, so stay tuned as we continue to develop more exciting content. So anything, anyways, about this uh, new watch live feature, I think that's a great idea. It'll make battles a lot more intense Intense because say you got 60% two star on your attack, you can watch as they slowly creep towards, um, maybe they're at 50% and then you start watching live and then they're slowly coming up close to that 60%. It'll just make those battles a lot more intense and a lot more fun to watch and to play in. And then also on another hand, I believe this update will be coming sometimes in the next, really, well, it'll definitely be within the next week, but more, more likely than not, it'll be released within the next three days. So keep your eyes out for that. Now this, this date, of course, is not set in stone. However, it is just pretty much my opinion, but it is a very educated guess. 
So anyways, that is it for today's video. Like I said, if you want to see actual gameplay of this update in action, all the new troop levels, all the new defenses, what they look like, what they do, um, I'll be posting a video on that really shortly, so stay tuned for that. And I may also link it at the end of this video, so you can maybe click that if it is there as well. And anyways, I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.